Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Last time we went to Tefala base and got the Riards, and this episode, uh, we're gonna go save Clet. We finally found you. enough that I alone bear the weight of sin. You and I are the epitome of sin. I'll drag you down to hell with me. Take me to hell? You inferior beings and your silly jokes. Everyone, please run! Now, my darling pets, feed on the flesh of these wretched beings. on this small platform is one percent give me a break i'll pass on dying thanks all we have to do is defeat them before they can kill us indeed i have no intention of becoming a part of the food chain without a fight all right so this is a boss fight uh we're gonna have to fight against the baby dragons and the wing dragons all right um so starting off, uh, we're gonna identify the actual boss, the Wing Dragon, but um, I want to focus my efforts on the babies and oh wow, uh, just use my mind basher, I think. Um, all right, so um, now this, uh, yeah, obviously we're gonna need to take out the smaller ones first. I'll just make um, our life so much easier, like many of the boss fights in this game. Uh, just want to always take out the smaller enemies and come on, Lloyd. All right. Um, I am not doing so well to comics. I don't know why. Alright, oh, come on. Oh god. Oh shit. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that was, um, Nest Crack, I believe it was. Um, and, oh shit. I'm taking a lot of damage. Rain, heal me, please. And, fine. Alright. I definitely need to grind some more. I actually am pretty underleveled for this point to get um, the camera angle, for whatever reason, is really weird in this fight. I don't know why, but it's just so weird. Um, right, just, I really need rain to keep using this. Alright, think, just once we, I really, I really blame, I don't want to have to, uh, blame anything just but my actual skill, but it's actually, the camera angle in this is very annoying. Um, now these, uh, baby dragons, by the way, actually, I believe, have, like, uh, 12,000 HP, um, come on, they're just, that winged dragon is just wrecking me with those magic spells, and alright, uh, okay, um, so I guess they actually damaged the uh, other baby dragon enough, um, alright, so all that's left is actually the winged dragon, uh, it's at full health though, but, um, that shouldn't be too big of a deal, alright, so yeah, now that, uh, babies are gone, uh, this thing really isn't too much of a threat, cause, um, it has those magic attacks, but when you take that away, um, when you take away the smaller ones, it really won't be able to do too much. Um, it does have those pretty powerful spells, but it's really not all that threatening once you take out the other ones. Alright, come on, let's just, uh, do, do some heavy damage here. Um, alright. 
Nurse, alright. Okay, um, oh, alright, I almost walked right into that. Okay, um, so yeah, he should be done, uh, not too much longer. Yeah, there we go. Easy as pie. Even though I got a bad grade on it. No, it's too late. What is this ominous light that threatens to engulf us? Ah, I, I can't move. It's Colette. The mana from Colette's body is flowing out towards us. It's caused by that magic circle beneath her. Colette, get out of there! I can't. I'm chained to it. I, I can't move. I'm sorry. Just a chosen who couldn't even save her friends, much less the world. Maybe I'm just like Rhode Isle said, a pathetic chosen. No, Colette, don't delude yourself. You haven't done anything wrong. What's wrong is this system that demands the sacrifice of the chosen. Is everybody okay? I'm still alive. Looks like everyone's all right. But for what purpose did that Rodile character kidnap Colette? He said he needed a Crucius crystal in order to control the mana cannon. But apparently, mine didn't work. Mana cannon? Pietro, the man we saved in Haima, also spoke of this mana cannon. Persea's waking up! Colette, are you okay? Yes, thanks to you. <laughs> Prisea smiled. She resembles her, just as I thought. Okay then, now that my cute little Prisea smiled, it's a good time to start thinking about the next step. Yeah, we got Colette back, so what now? What else? We're going to separate the two worlds. So we're going to form packs with the summon spirits of both worlds. Well, this is where I come in, right? How about we start with the summon spirit, No. He should be near here. All right, that sounds good. Professor, is that okay with you? What? Um, yes, sure, that's fine. Professor, is something wrong? It's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> All right, um, so now we have Colette back in our party, uh, so let's put her, let's actually put her in our, our, our party, no, just for the occasion, um, okay, so we have a sky, we have, uh, eh, I don't know what I just said there, we have a skit, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> um, alright, so now, uh, we're supposed to go to the Temple of Earth, but we're actually not gonna be doing that. Um, starting off, we are actually going to be doing some side quests, but this first thing I'm gonna do is actually required. We cannot, uh, well, we could go into, uh, Gnome's Temple, but we wouldn't be able to finish it, um, unless we do this. 
It seems like, uh, this thing that we're about to do seems like a side quest, but it is required, believe it or not. Um, alright, so we're gonna wanna actually fly over to, um, Altessa's house. Well, we have a skit, Paw. Gee, I wonder who this involves. Oh. <laughs> Regal changed the title of Paw Dandy. That is just amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, um, it's really not that good. I'm putting it on him anyway. It's pure, elegant taste. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> so we have Paw Mania and Paw Dandy. That, wow, it's just so awesome. Holy crap. Alright. Anyway, here we are at Altessa's house. So now, uh, the reason why when I came here, uh, well, first of all, we have a skit. Top of the class. Professor Zelos. I like it. <laughs> um, alright, so now, here in Altessa's house, um, we're gonna want to talk to Tabitha. Oh, well, uh, first we have a skit. I can't tell anyone. Alright, um, so let's talk to Tabitha here. <laughs> Hi. Lloyd, welcome. Hmm, what's that wonderful smell? I just finished making curry. Oh, it's curry? Do you like curry? Then shall I give you the recipe? What do you think? Here's the recipe. Learn how to cook curry. Alright. Uh, here are the ingredients. Alright, so now, believe it or not, this is actually required to finish the game. Yeah, you actually you can't finish the game unless you learn how to make curry from Tabitha. You know, it's actually pretty cryptic, but you do need to do that. Um, Alright, so, now, uh, again, we could head for the Temple of Earth because we have all the preparations necessary, but that's actually not what I want to do. I actually, um, we're, there's no way we're going to be able to finish the Temple of Earth in this episode if I want to make it, like, um, under 40 minutes. Um, so, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some side quests. Um, so now there are two side quests that open up after you defeat Rhode Isle's Dragons, um, and save Colette. So, uh, one of these you can finish, one of these you can't. Uh, but... Let's, uh, one of them is here in Mel, um, starts here in Mel Tokyo. So, um, yeah, let's just head over here. Alright. So, uh, we can quick jump back up to Mel Tokyo, um, like you, like we did last time. And, um, I, I kind of want to stop by, uh, I kind of want to stop by the item shop real quick because, um, I do need some, I do need some new supplies. Um, so I'm gonna get some orange gels, um, I think we're doing good on everything else, uh, life bottles, and let's get, uh, do they have any holy bottles? Yes, they do. Alright, I need some more of these. Alright, so, uh, we're good on everything for now. Um, okay. 
So now to actually start the side quest. Uh, we're just going to want to go to the rich area of Mel Tokyo. Um, Kandama competition. Okay, I remember Viscuit being, Viscuit being pretty fun. I mean, pretty funny. Uh, yeah, that that was a that's a pretty funny one. Um, all right. So, um, what we're gonna want to do next is uh, just to start the side quest. We're gonna head over here. Um, now it is in uh, one of these houses. I believe it is this one. Uh, yes, it is. All right. So we're gonna want to talk to this person right here. Um, all right. I want to hurry up and show you my older brother who is working hard in Cybac that I've gotten good. Um, what is it? No, nothing. Good luck. Thank you, I'll do my best. Alright, uh, so if we try to leave... Persea? Is something wrong? I think she may have lived in Ozette when she was still a baby. Hmm. I see. It was just his face bears a um, slight resemblance. You should have asked. It's all right. Even if she, uh, she really had lived in Ozette, I doubt she would have remembered me. Um, and currently, I look like. I see. All right. So um, yeah, that does start a side quest. Um, now you're gonna want to make sure you choose that first option if you want to continue it. But anyway, uh, the next part in side quest actually is in Cybex, so we're gonna head there again. Traveling is made much easier with the radar, with the radar, so um, really shouldn't be, shouldn't take too long to get there. Actually, uh, the second of the two side quests actually uh, starts in Cybex, so um, of course we won't be able to finish it. We're only gonna be able to get a little bit of it done, but at least we can start on it. Okay. Uh, so let's head back. Uh, let's head over to Cyback. It's just um, over here. All right. All right. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's head over here to Cyback. Um, now, um, I guess. Um, all right. I'm not sure. I think it. Um, there's someone here that we're gonna want to talk to. Okay. Yes, I believe this is the person. Excuse me, pretty ladies. Hmm. Collect rain. Sounds like someone's calling you. You don't have to rub it in. I'm not. Um. That I'm not pretty. Why are you mad, Sheena? I'm not mad. I have a ring that will perfectly suit the sexy lady with the black hair. Say, that's pretty. Wow, it's a pink pearl. I think it, it would look good on you, Sheena. Really? I believe the phrase for this part is pearls before... Hey. I'll sell it to you for 100 gal. Really? You sure it's not a fake? No, it looks real. Why are you selling it for that kind of price? It's something I gave to my ex-girlfriend a long time ago. She gave it back to me. Oh, she lied to me. 
Rosa, she chose a rich noble over a poor student like me. Cheer up, money doesn't make a man make the man. Thank you. You're not just pretty, but kind as well. I'll give you this ring. But it's alright, as long as um it, as long as I keep it, I can't stop thinking about her. I don't have the guts to throw it away, so please take it. Alright, I'll take good care of it. Thank you. So we acquired the pink pearl ring. Alright, um so that does start a side quest, but that's actually all we can do in this side quest for quite a for quite a while now. Um but anyway, we're gonna want to talk to uh, this guy right here, I believe. My younger sister is studying in Mel Tokyo to become a musician. I have to do my best and hurry up and become a respectable scholar. You're. Hmm. What about me? Wait, you're Persea? No, it can't be. Persea would be much older than you by now. I'm sorry, little lady. When I was a young child, um. I was a young child uh, living in Ozette. Um, our parents were often busy working. There was an older girl who looked after us, um, in a, eh, looked after us in place of our parents. You look a lot like her. Wait, that means. Will you tell me your name? My name is Horace. Um, I am an inspiring scholar, and just recently I finally made it into the academy. Horus, then that girl in Tokyo must be Jeanette. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, no, it's nothing. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Not at all. Wait, let's go. Uh, okay. Alright, um, so now, uh, to con- Actually, to continue the side quest, Persea. Do you really want to leave it like that? You're not gonna tell Horus the truth. It's alright. It would be meaningless to have Horace acknowledge that the current me. But I'm sure he wants to see that girl from Ozette once again. That girl from Ozette no longer exists. Persea. Yeah, if it isn't obvious by now, um, Persea, because of the Crucius Crystal or Xpear experiments, she stopped aging. So she's actually, um, yeah, the game didn't actually straight out say it, but, uh, yeah, she pretty much stopped aging and is actually much older, but, uh, physically is only, like, around Genesis age. But we have a skit. Cute and strong ribbon. I freaking love the, the face that Persea made during that skit. That was awesome. But anyway, um... So, yeah, we can't we can't continue that side quest with that boy over there, but we can finish this, this side quest that we were working on. So, we're gonna actually head back to Mel Tokyo and see Rosa again. Um, which I think we just learned that's her name. Um, so let's just head back to Mel Tokyo. Um, alright, here we are. So, um, again, we're just gonna have to go through the sewers. Um, alright, here we are. Uh, so let's just quick jump. And alright. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, Rosa is just back in that house that we went to to see her before. Uh, so we're just gonna go there. Time does not go back. Alright, uh, so yeah, that is a sort of depressing skit. Just... Uh, I imagine it must be hard on her, like, not aging like everyone else, but, um, anyway. So, let's just go back and see Rosa again. Uh, she's in this house. Alright. Uh, my teacher started, um, started to compliment me. Soon I may be able to perform in a recital. Good luck. Thank you. 
Now, um, I believe if we try to leave, um... Perseia? Perseia, are you sure you don't want to say anything? It's alright. Since you're here, please listen to this, uh, to a song. That song, it's... A kind older girl used to sing this song to me when I was little. I don't remember her face anymore, but it was because of this song that I came to enjoy music. For some reason, I suddenly felt like singing it. Thank you. Jeanette remembered you. It's strange, I'm happy, but my chest hurts. Per se, when you realize the truth behind the, that pain in your chest, you'll be able to meet her as the girl from Ozette that she used to know. Yes. So that's actually a kind of sad yet kind of heartwarming side quest between Lloyd and Persea. Uh, we have a skit. Thank you for saving me. Great. For, uh, with that, I think we're going to end it off this time. So next time, let's play Tales of Symphonia. We're going to head to the Temple of Earth. See you guys then.